Hello, welcome back. What we have here, I'm just checking out my purple panda mic and I'm running a GoPro 8 Hero Black and what we're riding here is a 2013 Suzuki Boulevard M90 and like I said, ain't going nowhere special, just checking out the mic. Here we go. I got the visor open a little bit. I'm shooting in wide angle. I'm running a, a Z1R modular helmet. Looks like rain. Well, it's a little cloudy, got some sun. My chin guard, chin vent there. So we ain't going nowhere special. I do have to stop at a hardware store or Advance or something to get some JB Quick. So I can permanently mount the chin mount. I had it on. There's some baby turkeys. And one just, he got left behind. He went the wrong way. Uh, I gotta stop at the hardware store or Advance or something to get some uh, JB Quick. Uh, to mount my chin guard, I had it uh, attached with just a sticky, and well, obviously it came off. And then I went and got some scotch, double-sided sticky tape, put it on there, and where it was so hot, it came off. <laughs> So I'm just going to go ahead and do the uh, JB weld and get some paint and tape, you know, put on the, over the areas I don't want the JB weld on so I don't ruin my helmet. I'm going to go ahead and close my visor now. All right, my visor is closed. But as for the bike here, I mean, everybody knows the M90. Uh, second gear, I'm able to go 50 mile an hour in second gear. Uh, it likes the high revs. My left mirror here is uh, a little loose. So, you know, it vibrates at, at pretty much any speed. My right mirror over there, well, she's good. And at any speed, so I very rarely get into fifth gear. I mean, I do go in there, you know, don't get me wrong, but for the back roads here, you know, regular highway you really don't need fifth gear you know third fourth but all you need and when i jump on the interstate obviously yeah i'll go in the fifth but we won't be jumping on the interstate today have a uh, black labrador right up here he likes to jump out come after the t uh, motorcycle and well this road is so rough one of the reasons I chose this one here is because uh, I could have went another way. I was trying to get him to come out, but he won't come out. Um, <laughs> it was all the patchwork, man. It's rough riding on this thing. But you can, you know, hit potholes, uh, tire snakes, 
whatever, you know, and it, obviously, you know, it's there, you know, you, you went over it, but it's, it's not too bad. Get up to highway speeds here. Like I said I love riding this bike. And there's 50 mile an hour right there. Just third gear. Uh, the modular helmet is extremely noisy. don't really have a problem you know talking with the Bluetooth uh, on the phone and I hope the lavalier purple panda here does the same our 60 mile an hour sit back and relax enjoy the ride go ahead and get in a fifth and I normally don't ride this fast uh, on the two lane road here. I do the speed limit or just right there under it, you know. But I do want to get it up to interstate speed and uh, see what the dealio is. I got, like I said, I got my chin vent open. All right, here's seven alt coming up. There's 70 mile an hour. Do a countdown 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Right, let's back her back down the speed limit. Because the popo likes to hang out. I thought that was one right there, but he wasn't. Um, it's kind of windy as you can see the flags there. planning a cross-country trip uh, still yet debating on the days going out whether it be the 26th when my wife gets off of work or roll out the early morning on the 27th and they're supposed to be working on the bridge down in Tennessee on I-40 have some friends come back said it was like a five hour wait just in Memphis to get through all that so if I leave when the wife gets on uh, well she gets off around 12:30, so that's, that'll put us in Knoxville in four hours you know hopefully they'll be done working uh, for the day that is uh, so we'll just keep on her trucking but uh, like I said I'll be taking the bike uh, she'll be behind me in the Jeep we are headed out to Yellowstone, Grand, maybe the Grand Canyon. I've already been there once when I was in the Army. But uh, the Grand Canyon, Yellowstone, and then I was going to spend a day or two with my friend out in Colorado. We uh, came out in the Rockies a few days and you know, maybe do a little gold panning. Obviously some fishing. That side of that, you know, uh, it's gonna be gone for nine days. Not a lot of time for the distance when you get to travel. Uh, but anyway, like I said, I've never been to Yellowstone. I want to go to Yellowstone. I always wanted to go to Yellowstone. And right now, I'm gonna go. Well, I may stop here at Hardy's and uh, grab me a little biscuit, a little steak biscuit. Like I said, the Hero 8 Black here, she's recording supposedly in wide uh, wide view. 
I had done the uh, linear view and it was just so up close. All you seen was the head handlebars. That was prior to my mic uh, getting here. And uh, so now I got it in wide view. I think we'll go get a biscuit. Now I have the microphone pointing up. It's over here on my uh, corner of my mouth on the right side. Tucked back in the uh, full face helmet. Like I said, I'm, I'm hitting the rough spots intentionally. bike goes over it fairly easy I got the Viking saddlebags and I got a tour pack on the back which when I get off the bike I'll show you or a pothole or a manhole rather Oh dear, wrap that around that building, check you out. So apparently they've had some people to call in today. show you the tour pack here on the M90 I've got the Viking saddlebags here as you see and then the tour pack I could reach in here and get my hat alrighty and I'll see you when I get my biscuit eight All right, got my biscuit in me now. Let's head go get some uh, JB Quick. If they even have it, that is. afternoon starting at 12 I got right at an hour to get back to the crib to, before it starts raining hopefully
just a joy in the ride. And I hope we have good weather on the way out west. You know, instead of riding in the rain or what have you. Because the week we're leaving, the week we're leaving, you know, they're calling for uh, downpours here. So, you know, I don't know if it's going to follow us or heading into it more or what. I don't know. But anyway, we're here at the Advanced Parts. We're going to go ahead and get some JB Quick if they got it. And Bob's your uncle. Alright, what I ended up getting was this one minute epoxy. Uh, dries clear, so you know, maybe the best thing. Anyway, we're going to give it a shot. Um, I know the tour pack may look a little odd on the muscle cruiser here, but like I said, I'm planning on a cross country trip. different way I'm just going to go up the back way here trying to beat the rain a little heel to pull out on here so I'm just gonna go sideways with it there usually ain't no cars coming down my Bluetooth. Like I said, I hope this lavalier mic is uh, meets my expectations. Like I said, I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. A little purple panda. for it to be so cheap I mean you know it's only a 35 mile an hour road here second gear
the only thing I don't like about the bike here, and it's because I've never owned uh, a shaft drift for shaft drive, is the shaft lash that I get, you know. If I'm not going the speed that the gear is, you know, it sits there and bounce, shakes. That's, that's the only drawback I have to this bike. first got the bike you know I was like man my legs are so far apart you know the gas tanks so wide but, you know I'm that's it feels normal now I mean you know I've had the bike for uh, four or five months uh, no no I got the bike in June so like a little over a month but yeah outside of that you know the the Still getting used to the shaft, shaft lashed. And the little wind, windshield here, you know, it keeps a fair decent amount of uh, wind off of you. I got the floorboards uh, for the bike here. You know, as you, instead of the little pegs, but uh, now the for the passenger you know they still got pegs i like to get uh, floorboards for it kind of like the i seen a v-star yamaha had uh, floorboards for both rider and passenger but um, that'd be kind of nice to have It's got plenty of power though, for me anyway. said when you hit the sun the wind visor don't you you'd do it again if you had enough guts JB Weld, it sets up and uh, set a minute set up, uh, dries clear, never used it, he just said it was a little less messier than uh, the JB Weld, so, or the JB Quick rather. Strangler, though. Get ready for the Labrador to run out here. So here to the house on the left. Comes up behind that bush, and he's not there today. So that's good. So that is good. bike here is very nimble though you know for its size it's a 1500 there's a 
shaft last I've talked to you about. So she's she's very nimble. Yeah, it's going to be another boring moto vlog, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm just happy now I got a mic and a decent uh, camera. So I just picked up the Hero Black, the 8 Black yesterday had this seven silver and man I could not get uh, external mic working at all one of these little turkeys are back up here I doubt it though turkey usually don't hang around they be back tomorrow though there's food in the area Dad's chickens out. What crazy thing running right in front of me. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. We back home. Just got to back this little puppy back up in the the barn here. There's like a hump right there that I get hung on it and I can't uh, dig it out because when it rains real hard it floods out in there so it's been slowly but uh, surely cleaning it out in there because it used to be uh, a little backer born yeah see that hump Got to get some decent speed going backward. There we go. We got her now. Alrighty. Well, we're back here at the shack. And thank you for going on a mic test ride with me. Until next time, have a good one.